Officials here tell me that they are the first transit authority to implement this training in the state of Florida. They say that they're doing this to try and help save community members lives. On top of the training, they have these Narcan kits at most of their terminal centers. Leading by example, the Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority is taking matters into their own hands when it comes to opioid overdoses in the area. Florida is actually the number two state in the nation for opioid overdose fatalities and Pinellas is number one. They're in the process of training their employees on how to administer Narcan. Forward facing staff who are in a position that interact with the public who can lend a hand and assist if it's needed. Naloxone is the medication used to reverse an opioid overdose. Narcan is one brand of the medication. The right tool at the right time because as we know that the street drug fentanyls are the driving causes that are killing tens of thousands of loved ones. Dan Zito is partnering with PSTA to help train their employees. He says there are certain signs to look out for if someone is experiencing an overdose. You can't wake them up. Their pupils are pinpoint. Their, their breathing is slow, almost non-existent almost no pulse. These trainings help educate people and show them how to use the nasal sprays. This work you're going to see here in a moment could mean the difference between life and death. PSTA is currently putting Narcan kits at all of their terminals to give their employees easy access to help someone in need. These are families that we are helping. These are sons and daughters and moms and dads and brothers and sisters and this is our community here. This is Tampa Bay and we're in a position where we can help. Their ultimate mission is to get the Narcan on the buses so they're able to save a life at any time. PSTA tells me that their goal is to have one of these Narcan kits at every single one of their terminals by this Saturday, which is International Overdose Awareness Day. In Pinellas County, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.